Hey everybody, it's Stacy, and today I'm going to be doing a teaching on the Python spirit. What is a Python spirit? Where does it come from? How to identify it attacking your life and how to come against it? What is a Python spirit? Or should I say Pythus? The name Python actually translated in Greek means divination. The Pythus god is the god of oracles, fortune telling, and soothsayers. Y'all ever heard of that one song that goes, I bless your name, I bless your name. Yes, the origin of that song actually came from a very dark story that God turned for the good. The song is about two people in the Bible, Apostle Paul and Silas, two men of God who were beaten and thrown to jail, but later released by the power of God, sending a powerful earthquake, a violent earthquake, breaking all the jail cells, setting the captives free. This story is in the book of Acts. Paul and Silas, they were going to their place of prayer and this divination girl kept following them around, tormenting them. And Paul, he got angry and he casted out that spirit of divination off of the girl but you know she was a slave girl so she went back to her masters they were so upset that they can't make money off of her fortune telling no more so they took paul and silas to court and the city was in an uproar ultimately so they beat paul and silas innocent man threw them in jail and ultimately god ended up releasing them by setting an earthquake come to find out later on theologians ended up discovering that that city actually worshiped the god Pythus. And that's why they were so chaotic. So that's a quick overview of the story. Now we're gonna get into how to identify a Python spirit is attacking your life. The demonic spirit of Python is in charge for suffocating your spiritual life. As in, you lack the desire to pray. Spirit causes you to have a weak prayer life. Sometimes you may feel overwhelmed or the, the feeling of hopelessness, going back to old habits, old ways, backsliding. It causes you to pull away from godly relationships. It gives you the spirit of lack. You're always in lack. You're never content. You always feel like you're missing this, you're missing that. You might find yourself hard to sleep at night, feeling a sense of heaviness on your chest or it's hard for you to breathe. The spirit of Python grabs a hold of you and attempts to squeeze the breath out of you spiritually. The demonic spirit of Python, if attacking your life, can also make you feel very fatigued all the time, always tired for no reason, even if you are not sleeping or didn't do that much that day or you're not tired but you just feel tired you know this unclean spirit doesn't only suffocate your prayer life suffocate you spiritually it can also suffocate your blessings in the spirit realm in the heavens from reaching you from you receiving your blessings and your gifts that god has for you how to come against it is simple when you don't feel like praying force it Force yourself to be in God's presence. Meditate on his word daily. Say, I rebuke the spirit of Python out of my life permanently in the name of Jesus. Be consistent, have faith and believe when you pray and you will receive it. And if you feel like you are still struggling in that department of your life, seek a deliverance ministry to have them cast them out of you they prayed up ephesians 6 12 we do not wrestle against flesh and blood that's all for python spirit teaching i will be back with another video stay vigilant stay prayed up and take it back to jesus